Yo, what's up everyone? It's BC, B Sips. This is my review of Toe Jam and Earl, Back in the Groove. Product provided by Toe Jam and Earl. Thanks, homie. Back in the Groove started as a Kickstarter campaign and is currently on PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Toe Jam and Earl has been a series that many would know of if they ever had a Sega Genesis back in the 90s, as this game series has always kept a real 90s style flair that it's practically heralded as its own. Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove is meant to be a spiritual successor to the very first Toe Jam and Earl game, and it succeeds in many ways by doing so. The game starts where the first game left off with Toe Jam and Earl flying in her spaceship 26 years after making it off the Earth, and as now they fly through space to make their way home, except the ship ends up crashing on Earth by Earl accidentally pressing the wrong button in their ship, and now they're landing on Earth and crashing down once more and you need to collect all the ship parts on each level in the hopes to escape Earth and all of the crazy lunatics cross your path. Literally, these humans in this game practically harass you, like... Stop! Stop! Please stop! When it comes to the gameplay, it plays exactly the same like the original Toe Jam Earl game did, but has a real nice polish to the art style, as well as the mechanics of the game being way more fluid, refined, and precise for the new generation of gaming. Except when you're trying to find those hidden passages by going towards the edges, and you fall off by accident pretty often. There is also tons of minigames throughout every level, like the 2D platforming small segments, as well as when you go and play the dance levels, the dance missions to earn money. And you can also find certain characters to help you increase your stats. So make sure you remember that each of these levels is randomly generated, so you will never see the same level anytime you enter a new world or a new game. It will always be different. One of the main perks of the game is the presence feature, and you will find many different kinds of presence across every level that you collect and use to help you progress through the game, to help you reach certain areas of each locale, to even have your character gain new abilities like putting humans to sleep, identifying hidden paths early, to also even causing an effect called Black Friday where all the humans in the game fight each other to the death. So that is all the main premise of the game Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove, to get your ship parts to repair your ship and to get the hell off the planet Earth. One of my favorite parts of Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove, and Toe Jam and Earl as a franchise, is definitely the soundtracks, and especially in this game, it maintains that 90s funk influence on every single track in the soundtrack that leaves the bass bumping consistently with catchy rhythms while you traverse each level to hopefully escape the earth. Overall, if you loved the very first Toe Jam and Earl game, then you would be right at home with Back in the Groove. There's also online functionality to play with others and also local play to play with friends in some funky mayhem, along with many other multiple different variations of modes to keep the game different and changing with unique ways. I rate Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove a solid 8 out of 10. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and consider donating with the link in the description if you enjoyed this content and want to help contribute to the channel for more content like this. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Oh, and by the way, fun fact, Macaulay Culkin's actually an executive producer for Back in the Groove.